Hey guys, what's up? This is Chad Close with Close Blender and CD Gaming. Uh, today I'm going to show you something pretty cool. We're going to talk about rigging a little bit and uh, more or less motion capture with a, with a Xbox Kinect in Blender. So I just made this simple uh, little guy. Uh, pretty cool little robot. I don't know. Um, but we're going to use my arms from an Xbox Kinect by using a program called NIMate. So uh, here's the link. I'll also probably put it in the description. All you have to do is go to free download. Uh, you download it for your uh, certain whatever computer you're running. And you go to official plugins. And then you get this Git Blender 2.65. And then get the add on. And then there's also some uh, pre made blends right here and a NA mate profile that uh, I'm actually using and then there's also a setup video right here I'm not gonna talk too much how to set it up pretty much you install everything you get it all connected uh, in the user preferences here you go in uh, you go to add-ons and you'll install from a file and you add it and you'll click it and then you'll get that and once your connects all set up We'll be running something like this. This is my live view here. Uh, there's my hand. I'm gonna call it dorm room, so I have limited express uh, space. So I'm only gonna do my arms. I'm not gonna do my legs and stuff uh, for this part, especially since the robot only needs his arms to move. All right. So once you get it all started, uh, you can load that default profile I was talking about, and you can just use that. Uh, just go uh, profile load. Uh, load. I already have it loaded. Robot. I named it. And then we're going to go over to full skeleton and then hit it enable and make sure your IP address is this. And as you can see it's just got all these inputs so wherever the connect sensor for your neck uh, it'll control the object in Blender that's called neck. So let's go ahead and, and I'll hide the robot for now. His ears didn't disappear but that's fine. So we can see Here's my neck, my head, my shoulder, my elbow, and my hand. So we see all these points, and I'll, uh, I don't know how well you'll be able to hear me, but if I come over here and I start it up, start listening, come over here, I can start moving it. So as you can see, I can move those dots around and do whatever. All right. So you can see the dots move around, and I'll turn back on the body. And we don't need... We can hide that and hide that. Also hide that. And I'll come back over here and I'll... So as you can see, you can move the arms, you can do whatever you want, you can... It's pretty cool. All right, uh, I'm actually going to quickly do a T-pose here. And then I'm going to stop listening. All right, so let's hide this guy. So this is our basic setup. We just have these empties with the correct name, listening name over here. Make sure this port number is the same as the port number. By default, it's 7,000, so it's not a big deal. All right, so let's go to a new scene and quickly just set up a, a rig here. So let's add some empties in here. Well, actually, we're just gonna we're gonna open up a new Blender. Sorry, my computer's going a little slow. All right, we're gonna add an empty plane axis, and then we'll name this one neck and then we'll just shift duplicate it grab Z move it up have this be our head shift duplicate it have this be our shoulder duplicate it elbow and our hand and then we're just gonna duplicate these over here. We're also going to add a uh, torso. 
now the naming let's open up the naming over here for shoulder it's gonna be shoulder dot uh, this one's gonna be L elbow dot L hand dot L So there we go, got that set up. And now, if we start listening, this should. I can't really see, but I'm assuming it's, uh, it's working. Yeah. So look at it this way. I'm going to quickly do a T pose so I can kind of see what's going on. So yeah, so it's literally that easy. You just uh, name name them in, uh, in here and then they transfer over here really nicely. Uh, and I cap, I, or, and I made, I haven't had any problems with it, so it's really nice. So, how we set up a rig is probably what you guys are wondering, huh? So, let's quickly just add an armature in here, a single bone. And we're going to just going to do extrude it out. And then... So, what we're looking at here is this is, say, the neck, the torso, the shoulder blade, the arm, and then the other arm, and this is where your hand would be. So now what we do is we take, we go into pose mode, grab this bone and we can go over here to constraints and we do copy location and just go down to torso. So now we're copying the location of the torso. Grab this bone, let's add a copy location neck it's not gonna don't wanna do that is it all right we're gonna take this constraint off um, we're actually gonna redo this sorry about that we're gonna delete that yeah okay we don't need the torso so let's go into pose mode here take this bone add a constraint copy location neck All right, and then we can do the same thing here, copy location, neck. So here's all of our points. And now what we're gonna do is we want this to always be looking in the direction where your head is. So we can add another track to and just do head this time. And now it's always gonna be in the angle where the head is. And then this bone, we're gonna add a track two and we're just gonna add a elbow left, elbow right, my bad there track to hand right and all if you have legs it would be pretty much the exact same thing you got going on here track to left track to left all right so there we go we got a pretty basic armature going on here now one thing you can note is our proportions aren't exactly right, our shoulder blades are about right, but this hand or the, the forearm, forearm isn't quite long enough. So we can go into edit mode here and we can just, we should just be able to grab and drag these, make them a little bit bigger. And then as you can see, now they're actually reaching. So let's go ahead and uh, let's start this up again. Turn my computer so I can actually see this thing. And there we go. Now we have a rig that's uh, following my movements, which is pretty cool. I don't know about you. You kind of play around. It's kind of laggy right now since I'm uh, I'm doing motion capture. I don't know if you even heard one word I said over there. Um, sorry for the background noise. I do have my fan on my computer is running. 
isn't ideal, but what can you do? All right, so there we have a rig, and now essentially you can just uh, add your weights to a mesh that you have, and go from there. And you can rig your animation up, and you can record it by doing. Uh, you'd use the record button down here. You just go to the pose mode, have them all selected, hit the record button, and do the animation. And then you can edit it in here in the time frame. I'm not going to do that. Um, there's plenty of animation videos of Blender out there. I'm just showing you how to motion cap and set up a rig pretty much right now. So now that we have a rig, um, let's go into edit mode and we can kind of play around with it. So we're going to have all of these scale and then um, open up here. And we're going to have it center at zero. Oop, that's not going to redo that. We're just going to move it down more on this axis. So when we make a mesh, since uh, I didn't wait it before I did all the constraints, this is just going to be easier because I know where uh, where the mesh should be. Because if really you're not going to make a mesh on this now, you're going to make a mesh where the armature is in edit mode. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a simple circle. Uh, let's just do 12 vertices. And then we're going to rotate it 90 degrees, scale it down, extrude it along the x-axis, extrude it along the x-axis. And let's just go and look at how long it should be. Make sure I have our limits on. I'm just gonna do a simple like a like a pipe for the arms. Nothing too uh, fancy. All right, and then let's just add a bunch of ed edge loops in here so it um it curves really nice. And then we can just set that to smooth, and that's pretty. That's nice. We'll just delete all this. Add a quick mirror modifier and uh, clipping apply. There we go. So now we're just going to simply click the mesh and then click the armature and hit Control P. We'll just do automatic weights, and as you can see, it uh, it automatically attaches it to the bones. And now, if I go over here and play it real quick. You can see it working. So pretty cool. Uh, this is pretty much, uh, I'm going to end the tutorial on this. I'm not going to do any modeling. I'm just kind of, it was to show you how to set up uh, or use NIMate within Blender. Setting it up isn't terribly hard. Um, I, you just pretty much install everything and let the computer do what it does best. and. Uh, installs it and stuff so yeah this has been a tutorial from close blender hope you guys like it subscribe check out our games at cd gaming we make android games only so far some of them are uh, pretty cool there we got some free ones out there go check those out love the support and uh have a nice day